What up, what up, what up, what up, world? I'm doing this blog right here. I want to send it to freaking Chris on Bias. And um, I'm just going to do a blog about how, why I think Murder Mook is titled The Goat or should be titled The Goat. And I want to send it to him and see if he could use it. So, Chris, what up? Um... Why I think Murder Mook should be the GOAT is Murder Mook versus J Mills, I feel, was like the first, first, first battle rap to say, on camera at least, to say, okay, we've written this for each other and we're going to spit it towards each other. Like back then, you used to have to freestyle. If something was written, you would write like a line or two or think it in your head and slip it in the freestyle battle and act like it was off the head um but Mook versus Jay Mills was like the first one where it was like rounds at each other and I think it's one of the greatest to this day written battles um maybe for nostalgia purposes but there was still some slick shit in it too um you know um and I actually thought Jay Mills won the first battle. I thought Jay Mills won it. But um, I was obsessed with the battle. And um, from that, Murder Mook did other written battle raps. You know, with, with Party Artie. And, you know, I used to buy the Smack DVDs for the Mook battles. You know, um, and I think the Sirius Jones one dropped simultaneously on YouTube also and it was on MTV too and uh and and Mook killed a couple of people on the on the MTV on the Fight Club no my bad the Sirius Jones one wasn't that was that was Fight Club who had the MTV two deal and you know, Mook had killed them, and then, you know, just, just seeing Mook kill some dudes online, you know, it, it was all Murder Mook. Murder Mook was the face of battle rap, you know. And then, um, when, when, when it had returned, you know, when he was like, um, it was getting big, you know, it, Mook's, Everybody, everybody felt like Mook wasn't there, so it wasn't significant, right? And I think, like, one of the best rounds ever was the ARP, you know, uh, social distancing battles that Mook did, where he was like, what's my significance? My significance is y'all existences. Um, because I think that's so true. You know, what, what, what Mook... So, so Mook gets a pass for not being there for the build up because he was there from the build up, build up. He was the blueprint, you know, to the groundwork. Um, so then him versus Iron Solomon takes place at some minus two, and everybody says, Oh, Solomon's unbeatable, and you know, oh, but I, I think Mook was the favorite going in there, but they thought it was going to be a close battle, and he destroyed Solomon destroyed Solomon. Solomon's one of my favorites. But you know, and that room was bad. You know, and, and it made Solomon quit for a few years. And um the camera came out and they were like, well the battle wasn't that great. You know, and it was like okay, you know, and um Mook was still the that dude though. I think for me, he, he actually opened up a lot of stuff too. When when he talked about the twenty G's, he got paid. You know, I think I think that's when prices started going up on the battle list. You know, so you can even credit him for like union worker, union leader type stuff. Like, yo, look at what I got. They got more to offer. You know, and um. From from that point, I, I always felt like, you know, Mook was, Mook had kind of already earned his, his spot in the GOAT category. He was just, he was just keeping it, you know, and um, 
the Loaded Lux rematch. It became, well, Mook can't do that on a URL stage. You know, and then Mook versus Tay Rock, which I think was vintage Mook, one of Mook's best. You know, it can't say, like, well, Mook can't do that in the crowd of Rome. But he did that in the crowd of Rome with Solomon. But it just didn't transfer the camera. But Tay Rock transferred the camera. And it's always these these narratives with, with Mook where um, it gets twisted, you know. And then, um, you know, most recently, you know, with, with, with Mook and, well, Mook and Big K was a close battle with people still going to one either way. But, but Big K did get the consensus of it. But, um, you know... To be the GOAT doesn't mean you are the GOAT, you know. And um, when Mook faced Geechee, everybody thought he was going to get 30, you know. And, and Mook went in there and, and had the whole crowd, had the whole live feed just into it. And they were like, yo, he's killing it. And, you know, this is Mook. And Mook got Geechee out of there and, and you know Mook used every advantage he can and, and he took advantage of it and, and Mook dirty Geechee Gotti after Geechee just dirty Lux you know and it was um and I feel like the narrative changed to like well it happened in New York well Geechee and Lux happened in LA but you know and then it changed. You can't beat Mook in New York, you know. And 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 the goalposts keep changing for when Mook battles, you know. But I think Mook is the goal, and and this is my reasons why. Pace, Jesse.